Hey there, David from iOS Dev School here. And in this course, we are going to build a Tinder like dating application for iOS 14. And we are going to use the latest Xcode 12 and Swift 5 in order to build this. Let me demonstrate you how the ready application is going to look like and what functionality it will have. So you can see what you will end up with once we finish this course and you build your own Tinder like application. Okay, let's look uh, at the ready application. So we have on the left side iPhone 11 Pro running iOS 14. On, on the right side, I have iPhone 11 Pro Max again running iOS 14. Um, I have these two different users logged in. You can see the first uh, area is these matches when we can uh, scroll through the cards and you can like, we can dislike. And uh, let's just jump to our settings here. You can see each user profile with name, age, etc. And also at the bottom, you can see the information about each user. Here we can edit the profile. Uh, we can add avatar picture, we can change or we can upload more pictures of the user or we can change email or change the username or log out our user. So this is the user's main profile. Then uh, we have this area where it shows the recent matches and the recent chats if you have. Currently we have no chats or no matches because this is what I'm going to demonstrate to you. And also we have this notification area and it shows which users have liked you. So if I click on, uh, let's say, one of the users who liked my account, I will see the profile of that user. And if the user has more than one picture apart from avatar, the rest will be loaded at the bottom. And you can see how many images this user has. And you can just scroll through the images and you can see each image even by clicking on the image, you can uh, enlarge it and go through uh, on a bigger screen. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can share this image if you want to, or you can just close this one. At the bottom here, you have an option to dislike the user or like if you want to. Uh, and then you can see the full profile of the user as well. Um, there are some, some of the information is missing because it's not added and then it's just an empty space. Then we have gender, the height, and looking for is currently missing as well. So this is the profile of the user. The same thing you can see if, for example, you click on any of the users, you can see this user, which is one of the dummy users. It doesn't have any other images here, so we see only the avatar image, but the rest is exactly the same. You can do a dislike here, and it will go away, or you can just pull down and it will dismiss and then you have to do the decision here. You want it to uh, like it or dislike it. So for example, uh, this user, this Dave user, you can see it liked me. So if I like this user, we're going to see a match. So the match screen appears, it says we have matched and then the picture of the user. And then you have an option to keep swiping or you want to chat with this user. So if I say send message, this will take me to the Dave's uh, chat screen. Then we can just go to this message area and you can see that uh, under the matches, now we have one match, but we have no recent messages here. And also under the bells, you can see this user has still uh, the liked user. But if I go now, you can see that I no longer can like this user because I have already liked him. So uh, getting back to our match screen, you can uh, click on the user match and you can see once we click on this profile and we have liked, uh, we are opening the match screen or the user that we have already matched. We don't have options of dislike or uh, do anything else. We can see only the profile. And also we have an option to start chatting with the user. So if I click on the chat button, it will take me to the chat room where we can uh, type something. Let's say hi and send it. And then uh, the other user is on my phone. So I received the message there. 
let me just type something back from my phone. I can see the status has changed to read here on the top. And let me type something back. We say hello. You can see the notification comes that a user is typing. And then if I send, the hello appears. And let me uh, let me share a picture here. I'm taking a picture of my laptop. And let's use this picture to send it to the user. And the picture appeared and you can see it loaded and this is the picture message the same thing you can do here you can choose from the photo library or from a camera because the simulator has no camera we cannot use that or you can send a text messages once you get back uh, to our chats here you can see the last message uh, the, the messages underneath now we have a message with Dave uh, which last read was just now and the picture uh, the message was picture message so if i send another message and send it you can see it automatically updates the recent message with a uh, recent uh, unread count here also of course it sends push notifications once we receive a message but since uh, we are on simulator it doesn't show the push notifications so if i come here you can see the message and we can go back there is no new messages here um, for our uh, like here you have already seen and this is the settings area so once uh, let's say you swipe through all the users it's going to show you the screen that you have swiped through all the users for your area or whatever you have in the settings and then you can just click on reload if you want to go through it it will reload all the users again and you may want to reconsider some of likes or dislikes you have done and pay attention now if i go through you will not see the user day for example because you have already liked that user and uh, the user is no longer available here we are not presenting that user to you again if and asking if you want to like him or no so uh, these are uh, the two ready applications here you can see this user got received uh, two likes one from david and one from antonio and under the chats there is no match or no new messages so if i for example let's find one of the users this is antonio if i like it it's gonna give me a match screen again i can say keep swiping get back here if i go to my matches now it will load the match and i can also start chatting with antonio let's say hello and actually we can have a real-time conversation here you can see the typing and sending and everything works with read recipient with the, the time of the messages with um, the user avatar icons or if the user doesn't have an avatar we are just showing the name of the user the application is using Firebase for user authentication, uh, real-time database. You can see the chats coming in real time. Then we are using Firebase uh, messaging for uh, push notification. Then the chat is done in message kit uh, in order to display this nice iOS, uh, native iOS-like user interface for chat. And also we are going to use different third-party libraries like to do the swiping or to show uh, pictures of the user we are going to build everything from the scratch and have our application done from zero until as you can see right now on my screen so if you like the application and if you want to learn how to write this using the latest uh, ios and xcode 12 uh, subscribe and we can start building the application together on ios 14